In this Planet Zoo video, we are going to be creating a lovely habitat enclosure for the wild ass. It's going to have a backstage area which is highly detailed. And we're going to give this beautiful animal the habitat that it deserves. And here we are, this is how it all started. These are a little set I made. So these are a set of mesh fences what I'm going to be using for this habitat. Obviously, I've used mesh. I've used these stained wooden um, timber planks as well, the Indonesian stained. And then these what came in the um, tropical pack, which is the Indonesian bamboo panel. Just adds a little panel into the bottom of the mesh fence. These are kind of like rustic, but also like modernized um, habitat gates really and this is what's going to be the main barrier to our habitats this is how i'm going to separate our guests to our animals and we're going to make some interesting backstage areas using these exact gates as well obviously i've got an actual gate here again not functional but it definitely looks the part and i've used a new piece actually i've used the conservation tool wall hook as a bracket i just thought it looked really well and well obviously just looked like a bracket now I've got these set of barriers already created, I can whip these to one side and start planning out the habitat itself. With the barriers, the backstage gates and the habitat gates now done, it's time to move on to the hard shelter. And I started with the actual exit and entrance to the hard shelter. This is probably where I'm going to put my habitat gate and I've made it on a module piece. I've shown how to create um hard shelters and backstage areas in a tutorial video so if you're not already seen it go and have a look um but yeah i've used the concrete add some little decals so it looks like it's wearing away again going with that rustic theme different color beams here and just place the door in as well because we're building in the same building piece and on the same grid it's very much easy to build a second modular piece without the door so I'm going to build this now in real time and then we'll get into the speed build segment of everything coming together to create the actual habitat. So let's go on concrete because that's what we've been using. We're just going to get the concrete wall. We're going to leave a gap because we want enough space to select everything. Like when we hold control and use our box, we want to be able to select this separate to this, even though it's on the same group. Right, we're just going to take stuff off here. So first of all we're going to take these because we want the walls all looking the same remember we want to stay on the same grid and we're going to multi-select within the grid to copy everything over so let's line everything up one more should do it here And then if we just select on this and we advance duplicate, this is a nice little trick for you here. I know this is called the Indonesian stained wood, right? So let's just type in stained. We'll go in all and it's this one here. If I now select this, that piece of wood, what I've got selected in game here will turn into it. Watch. Get it? Now we have to do is recolor it to this same color, which I should already have selected like so. There we go move that over and this will complete the trim on the bottom of this custom wall we're going to leave the decals and stuff like that for now i'm just going to select this which is going to form the base of the roof when we do add a roof there's that there now we're on the same grid all you have to do is enter the group and then hold control and select everything and now we can just go to town in place in this hard shelter. So let's jump into the speed build segment and let's build this hard shelter. Which was very easy to do because we've already built those on the grid pieces as a whole. So we all have to do is duplicate it over like I've just said. I did change a little bit of the details here. You can see me just raising the main body of this structure, the main area, just a little bit. Just to give it a different height definition again just trying to like keep things interesting really and try to give it a different look so it didn't just look all plain and boring once that main wall was on it was time to just add the roof which was very easy we just added this um kind of like metal cladding roof um onto it i just think it looked the most realistic and looked the best really 
At the bottom we added the same roof as well to the other bit, obviously lower down. And we did the trick of putting down the grid to one meter in the setting. So we've got a little overhang over the side of the building. I suggest doing this for all your builds. And then the sides were a bit of a pain in the ass, I'm not going to lie. You can see I wanted to come out two meters, so I did. But the years not on the grid pieces what are two meters thick. They're all four meters by four. So I had to add these off the grid pieces which proved a bit difficult especially when it came to adding the trim like the rest of the building has got you know the trim the little wooden pieces around the bottom i had to duplicate them over it was a little bit fiddly but we persevered and we got it done moving on to the barn door would you call this a barn this is just basically the hard shelter isn't for the animals um, and what our habitat gate will obviously be and this is going to be the door it's going to give the impression that this door can close that our zookeepers can come in to the hard shelter close the door so our animals can get a little bit of privacy and maybe come in for the night to sleep but this is going to be the main sleeping area for the animals as well um, i went with this stained wood piece do you know i always say I go with the same color themes but i like to change the color slightly you can see the trim on the building is a different color to this actual barn door and then i fiddle around with different pieces i thought oh i'll stick a door on this barn door, so a separate door on the barn door, if that makes sense. Um, so it looks like it's accessible for the zookeepers and it just didn't work. Listen, I don't do everything perfect, but I've got a lot of positive feedback on many of my videos. Quite lately, I've had quite a lot of positive feedback, but honestly, I'm not the perfect builder. I just try things and if they don't work, I change it and I go back to it. This build actually took me quite a long time. I'm talking about six hours. Six hours total in game time, it took me to create this. And that was six hours over three days. It wasn't six hours in one day. I kept coming back to this and thinking, that doesn't look right, I need to change this. That doesn't look right, I need to move this. I need to add this. And that's what I would suggest doing if you ever got stuck building anything. You get stuck building something, just leave it and then come back to it at a later date. New ideas will prop up in your brain and you will get there in the end, I promise. Now you can see I've just added that trim, deleted that door, didn't want to go there. And just adding the trim and making it actually look like a barn door see i've just raised the roof here and i'm going to put the gates in now the gates what we've already built remember the module pieces just a matter of adding them them in in bits of rock work and foliage that i've done once that i've added them in the inside is pretty much done apart from detailing the backstage area looks something like this with the gates added and then the inside area look like this we've also added two cute little windows as you can see there on the wall on the outside the windows look like this and we've got like a, a row of plantation as well as rocks as well and then the front of it came out looking like this again it just sprucing things up added a little foliage and decal the side of it where the path will be look like this and then the backstage area at the right of the back look like this inside again i spruced up the left hand side and added like a screen and some bits you would find in a hard shelter of a habitat and then once the inside was done and the main building was done, the main house shelter was complete, it was time to add the paths. And then once the paths are in, we can add the barriers in and the rock work. We started with this rock work, again, using the four rocks. You know me, if you watch any of my builds, I love four rocks. And I'm just kind of like planning out where a body of water will be here. Um, again, I've, I've done foliage tutorials, I can't get my words out, tutorials before, just poking this grass just this buffalo grass just above these rocks give it such a realistic theme and it looks beautiful and added different kinds of grass here as you can see different colors but still keeping it with that desert theme very important color coordinate don't go if i put something really green and lush it just wouldn't look right and then adding the body of water and then after a little mess around it came out looking like this See the water is in and now I'm just using the terrain tool just to kind of like paint. I just see it kind of like as a canvas and just paint how I want it to look. Add in a little bit of greenery here and there. And then the fence. So obviously I wanted to create a custom fence and it was very basic but very well done fence. So we just added mesh pieces, these wooden beams and the stained wood pieces again. And then the painstaking idea of putting all these around the edge of the path came to realization and then it took me ages to do but this is how it came out looking as you can see it's coming together quite nicely and on the top right i've started to create kind of like a rock face which i'll go into now and build for you a lot of people ask me about rock work in this game and honestly just how can i put this just do it 
just basically do it add about two or three different colored rocks that would be my number one tip and then just go to town don't worry about how it's coming out looking because when you see a rock face or a hill like this it doesn't look perfect they're not all flat against the actual terrain or anything like that so just go with it you know and honestly it will come out especially when you add foliage created a little indoor viewing area here adding the glass pieces in between the rocks again to give our animals a little bit of privacy but our guests can still in still in still see inside of the habitat where our animals are getting privacy just lining everything up and getting this other viewing area all sorted now and there we go the habitat is complete this is what it came out looking after all the little foliage bits was added and the the asses are in there and they look like they're having a whale of a time they're so happy in there they've got the right environment they've got everything correct you can see little bodies of little foliage have left there as well the gate came out looking like this just wrapped it all the way around and added some foliage inside which you've already seen this is how it came out looking when it was operational and then the backstage area totally complete by the way that little canopy area is off the workshop i didn't even create it and there it is as a whole so that concludes this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe if you're new and you're into planet 2 related content like speed build videos of habitats like the video you're watching and with that being said i will catch you in the next planet zoo video